first experience being in Marin was the Marin County Jail, and that was in 2018. That is when I first uh, encountered some homelessness. I had realized, and it had become very clear, that I had exhausted my family, exhausted my friends of resources. I knew that I had to make a change, and that change would be pretty drastic, and that was going into shelter, which I was completely in fear of. And I had my dog, Bear. He was my everything. It is very difficult to get into a shelter with an animal. Bear had to be licensed. Um, he had to have all his vaccinations. Of course, I didn't have any of those. So Marin Humane's community engagement program is amazing. One of the largest parts of it is our pet safety net program. And that program focuses on preserving the bond between people and their pets. Fortunately, we were able to start this program in 2017 because of the support during our 2017 gala. Since then, we have been able to assist over a thousand pets by providing financial support for their care so that they can stay together with their guardians. We were very fortunate to have the pet safety net when the pandemic hit because it has grown exponentially and we are so happy that we've been able to be here for pet guardians and their pets. When many people think of Marin County, they think of us as a very wealthy county, which is true, but there are a lot of people who love their pets who may have lost their job or have had another unexpected setback and can't afford an essential veterinary bill or even pet food. So the Pet Safety Net is here to help them. I first met Deborah when she reached out to Marin Humane. She was trying to get into the shelter with her dog, Bear, and she had a lot of hoops to jump through to be able to do that. So through the help of the Pet Safety Net, Deborah was able to get into the shelter and have Bear with her, which meant everything to her. My journey started there, and then I went on into every program I could, I could tap into to better my life. I found out about peer classes, and I was going to school twice a week down in Sausalito, and I earned myself a couple of certificates. That's when I, I was offered a job at Community Action Marin, where I'm at today, to be a homeless outreach worker. I could not have made it through without my dog. Animals are absolutely healing. It completes me. My loneliness goes away. My comfort, my safety, my security is all intact when I have an animal with me. There's so many folks out there that have animals, that they're living in their car, they're living in encampments. They don't have these things for, the, for their animals. And so for me, it just was natural to go, well, you know, Marin Humane Society, have you called them? In Deborah's daily work, she comes across people who are in a similar situation to where she was many years ago. Knowing what those pets mean to those people, she now is providing a bridge between them and the pet safety net. So here's this one. Is that good? Yes. She's walked where they're walking, so she's able to help people in a way that I think others haven't been able to. I do what I do today because I've experienced it. I can share it with another human being and hope to make a difference. And honestly, I could say today I have. <laughs>